Okay, this is a record of my tests with the ultrasonic detector and sensor that um, I've been trying to work with and incorporating it with Arduino. So I've got to the point where I've uh, followed a guide by JS Vesta, uh, which I found online, which uses the uh, specific ultrasonic sensor that I've got, and I completed the guide and adjusted it slightly so it's working from a longer distance and yeah it was great and I could demonstrate that the Arduino can use ultrasonics in this way. Now the thing that I find a little bit difficult when working with Arduino is visualizing the data that's coming through. So I've adjusted this slightly so that it's able to control something in unity. Now this isn't perfect and uh, the frame rate's a bit awful when it's trying to read uh, through the serial uh, ports but I can control objects in unity by identifying the distance from my hand to the sensor and as you can see the numbers are being uh, put through. So just a little bit of an explanation on how I've done that. Okay, um, there's additional scripts which I've used. So with the Arduino uh, example, um, I followed this through and it's pretty good. It does exactly what it needs to do and and yeah, um, I did find that I accidentally uh, switched those two around. And on my I don't know whether it's my board that I'm working with, but when I plugged one of the, the green LED into uh, pin 10, it didn't work. And I had to pin it and put it into pin 9, and it did. Um, but when I was looking for the Arduino stuff, I found a page where someone was having uh, similar problems uh, on the Arduino forum. And I've taken this initial code and the Arduino code at the end and use this in Unity and I've adapted it slightly so I'll, I'll put the code open here for everyone to be able to see um, so it's pretty much the same apart from that I'm using update rather than the buttons that the original example uses uh, and I'm checking for new bytes which are being sent through from the Arduino every two seconds or sorry every fifth of a second so and what I'm doing is I'm just uh, reading that data through and then just manipulating the transform the Z of the cube and you saw that going backwards and forwards uh, the rest of the code is pretty much identical to what uh, to the original example that I was looking at uh, the Arduino uh, code again very similar to the code um, from the earlier example except that I'm writing either uh, the distance which has been calculated or I'm capping it at 150. Now there are things that I've noticed that if it's taking too long for the uh, the ultrasonics to come back there's a delay and you'll see this I put the update so you can see the cube spinning and it's quite juddery but when I move my hand in front, it speeds up. So there's definitely something with the ultrasonic um, sensor which is causing the Arduino to delay, and that delays sending the data and in turn um, pauses. So I've got to find a workaround for that. Um, I found it a little bit better to show this by actually pointing it up to the ceiling uh, because there's a better range, and you can see that when I'm moving it up and down, it is quite precise when it's when the sound's being bounced back from a large object. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, so I just wanted to document that so that uh, if anyone else can use it and follow it on, great. Uh, I may do that myself or hopefully this will just give me some sort of heads up on what it was that I was doing. So that's it really.